Hello, good evening. Ang ngayon ay December 8, Immaculate Conception Day. And uh, tonight, I'm going to do a blog on the Knights of Rizal. Because I know not everybody, or not so many, actually, uh, uh, are aware of what this organization is all about. Uh, many are thinking that this organization is a sort of a cult and um, we have to correct, we have to enlighten uh, the, this kind of thinking about this organization because this organization is a cultural, social, civic organization. And I am going to tell you the history about this organization. This will be... Uh, uh, I don't think this will be very, very long because I decided that uh, starting today, I will be blogging uh, almost every day on Rizal because Rizal month is considered as Rizal, uh, uh, December rather, is considered as Rizal month. And uh, we started the commemoration or we started uh, commemorating uh, the Rizal month last uh, December 1 when the Knights of Rizal, the, the very subject of my blog tonight, uh, offered our uh, wreaths uh, before the monument of Dr. Jose Rizal at the Luneta or Bagumbayan before. And uh, in the afternoon, they had the turnover of responsibilities to the new Supreme Council, which is the policy making and uh, kanga the the policy making uh, body of the knights of rizal and uh, from from uh, uh, the former supreme commander because they that they, they have the supreme council and uh, the supreme commander is the is the highest official of the Knights of Rizal. Supreme Commander, uh, Court of Appeals, uh, Associate Justice Elijo Ibanez turned over the responsibilities to the new Supreme Commander, a former mayor and now vice mayor of Amon Rizal, uh, Sir Calderon. And um, this is the subject of my blog tonight in order for you to understand what this organization is all about. When did it start? Kailan ito nagsimula? Who started it? How did it start? No? Para tayong ano, tayong what, how, and why. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me go direct to the point. Uh, actually, the, the, the Knights of Rizal started with, on December 30, 1911. Wala pang pangalan. December 30, 1911, mayroong siyam, no, a group of nine men riding on horseback became a conspicuous a site in the commemoration of the death anniversary of Dr. Rosel in 1911. Simula nung, nung taon na yon, uh, this man riding on horseback became ikang, uh, uh, an annual site at the Luneta. And these men were composed of men from all walks of life, and it was headed by then, uh, by by a former chief of police, uh, before the Second World War, Colonel Antonio Torres, chief of police of Manila. And uh, so nakikita sila don annually hanggang 1916, and so. Naisip ni, ano, naisip ni Torres na gawing talagang isang organisasyon itong mga, itong grupong ito ng mga kalalakihan. Kaya nang uh, November 16, 1916, eh, itong mga lalating, mga lalaking ito who were a uh, horseback riding a group uh, paying respect to the memory of the national hero every December 30, 
was organized into a private non-stock organization uh, named Orden de Caballeros de Rizal, Order of the Knights of Rizal. The original incorporators were Antonio C. Torres, of course, uh, siya ang nagsimula eh. Juan, uh, nakakatuwa no, kasi naisip nila yon. Juan Flamenco, Martin F. De Vera, Jose A. Del Barrio, parang Maria Del Barrio, and Jose S. Galvez. Kellner Torres was the first supreme commander of the order, yung konseho nila, supreme uh, council. So, nagkaroon sila si, si Torres, ang unang-unang supreme commander. If you are going to visit the Knights of Rizali headquarters in Intramuros, you will see all the uh, all the supreme commanders. Hanggang uh, may mga picture silang lahat doon. Parang yung presidente sa Malacanang, may mga photo sila. Doon meron din sila mga pictures. Uh, Colonel Torres was succeeded by the following. Ito, ito yung mga naging Supreme Commander na makikita ninyo doon kung pupunta kayo sa Knights of Rizal Headquarters sa Intramuros. Martin De Vera, Manuel Lim, Juan Epnacpil, Hermenio Velarde, Chudor Evangelista, meron tayong street na Evangelista, street sa May Quiapo, uh, Hermine Hildo Reyes, Santiago F. De La Cruz, Jesus Perpignan, ito, ito ay dating nasa, uh, I think, sa Department of Education. Vitaliano Bernardino, uh, ito ay sa Department of Education din. Jose Maria Paredes, Claudio Tejanqui, former Chief Justice. Jose S. Laurel III, from the Laurel clan. Justo F. Torres. Uh, from yun nga uh, nagmula sa ang kanitong ano nitong si Antonio Torres no ito nagkaroon Jose Jose Justo F. Torres Jr. siya ay ad, uh, ano ren justice then uh, si Mion si Medalia uh, businessman uh, from Quezon City Conrado F. Vasquez ombudsman Sir Justice Pilimen Mendoza another justice at uh, I started my association with the Knights of Rizal with Justice Mendoza, my kababayan from Batangas. Justice Angel Rica Alvarez, Attorney Lamberto Nangkil, a, a very good uh, uh, speaker. Congressman uh, Elias Lopez, former assemblyman, assemblyman attorney from Davao. Attorney Rogelio Quiambao, former Uh, no, si, Congress, si Elias Lopez, congressman from Davao, si Atty. Rogelio Quiambao, former Congress uh, Assemblyman from Quezon City. Major Vicente Palmon, uh, uh, siya ay uh, from Manila's Finest, mga police. Atty. Carmelo Gempisao, uh, lawyer businessman from Davao. Joselina, former senator who is now president of the Manila Hotel. Justice Hilario Davide Jr., former Chief Justice ng ating Supreme Court. Sir Virgilio Isguera, former uh, uh, administrator, administrator of uh, Rizal Province. Attorney Pablo Trillana III, a former, uh, uh, a former chairman, chairman by an executive director, former executive director of the National Historical Institute then ngayon ay National Historical National Historical Commission of the Philippines NHCP uh, Dr. Regis Romero uh, a very successful businessman and vice governor vice governor Jeremiah Singson uh, who was who is the vice governor of Uh, Iloko Sur and soon to be governor because he is running unopposed. And then after uh, gener after uh, Vice Governor Singson, we have former Chief Justice Reynato Espuno and then Associate Justice of the Court of Appeals, uh, Elijo Ibanez. At ngayon, yung bago, mag-assume mag, mag ng office, mag-assume ng office ngayon, I see Sir Calderon. The order thought of obtaining a legislative charter. Naisip nila, kailangan maging kagaya ng Boy Scouts. No? Uh, 
Kaya does a committee on legislation composed of Justice Roman Osaita and Sir Carlos uh, Hilar Hilado and Pedro Sabido as chair and members actually were constituted in 1951 to study the feasibility of filing a bill in Congress to secure a legislative charter for the Order of the Knights of Rizal. So a bill seeking to have a law enacted to give the order a legislative charter was filed in 1951. So noong 1951, na-filed yung batas na yon. It was docketed as Senate Bill Number no. 251 and was sponsored in the Senate by Senators Enrique Magalona, Lorenzo Sumulong, Esteban Abada, Emiliano Triac Terona, Camilo Ozias, Geronima Pexon, Jose Avilino, and Ramon Torres. Congressman Manuel Zosa of Cebu sponsored the bill in the House of Representatives. The bill has the following explanatory note. The purpose of the ETAT's bill is to accord the civic and patriotic organization known as the Orden de Caballeros de Rizal. In closing parenthesis, Order of the Knights of Rizal, the same kind of official recognition and encouragement as that accorded to the Boy Scouts of the Philippines by Commonwealth Act No. 111 by granting it a legislative charter and investing it with the necessary powers to enable it to more fully and more effectively accomplish the laudable purposes for which it was organized. The bill was enacted into law. Will, the bill enacted into law will also serve as a historical monument to Rizal. It will constitute an official recognition by the Republic of the Philippines of the inestimable value to the nation of his teachings and examples and of the wisdom and necessity of inculcating them in the minds and hearts of our, of our people so they may strive to follow and practice them. The authors and proponents of this bill believe that if the purposes or the purpose thereof are faithfully, uh, if the purposes thereof are faithfully and effectively carried out, social discipline, civic virtues, and love of justice will, post, will be fostered, promoted, and enhanced in this country, and, the, and that the Knights of Rizal as chartered entity is the most convenient instrumentality by which these desirable ends can be attained. Let this and the future generation live the Rizal way. Yan yung kanilang explanatory note. On May 15, 1951, of course, the measure was uh, uh, was uh, signed by then uh, President Elpidio Carino. This is the Repub Republic Act 646, creating the Knights of the Order of the Knights of Rizal. Of course, approved by President Elpidio Carino. On June 14, 1951. And you know, five years after another law on Rizal was passed, that was Republic Act Number no. 1425, which mandated the teaching of the life and the novels of Rizal in all schools, colleges, and universities uh, all over the country in all curricular programs. And that was uh, that law, Republic Act 1425, which was uh, uh, filed as Bill Number 5561 in the lower house or House of Representatives by then a uh, congressman from Laguna uh, by the name of, uh, I think it's Jacobo Gonzalez, no? but the name of Gonzalez. Bill number 5561, the counterpart in the Senate was uh, authored by uh, uh, Clara M. Recto, uh, Senate Bill number 438. 
and then later on it was enacted into law republic act 1425 which requires the study of the life and the two nobles of Rizal in all colleges, university schools, colleges, and universities. It is started as a one-unit course, and then it's now three units. No, you cannot graduate without taking the subject Rizal. Uh, so that was signed that law that the the first law, Republic Act six four six, on the creation of the Order of the Knights of Rizal, was signed by. President Ramo, or President Elfidio Carino, the the next law, the uh, is signed in 1956, uh, was signed by Ramon Magsaysay, and uh, what are the four purposes of the KOR that as uh, or the Knights of Rizal? These are the four purposes of the Knights of Rizal to study the teaching of Doctor Jose Rizal inculcate uh, such teachings in the mind of and propagate them among all classes of people and by words and deeds to exhort our citizenry to emulate and practice the example and teaching of our national hero promote among the knights in the order the spirit of patriotism and resilient chivalry Develop a perfect union among the Filipinos in revering the memory of Dr. Jose Rizal and organize and hold programs to commemorate Rizal's nativity and martyrdom. The Knights of Rizal is a cultural, non-sectarian, non-partisan, non-racial, civic, and patriotic organization. Today, it has more than 27,000 members in all mo uh, in almost 200 active chapters in the Philippines and in other parts of the world like the United States, Canada, Europe, uh, Austria, uh, Japan, Middle East, Southeast Asia, New Zealand, Australia, and in almost all these places there are the uh, a statue of Dr. Jose Rizal. There are statues of Dr. Jose Rizal. And the Knights of Rizal, in order to carry out its vast, very broad uh, 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 objectives, no, uh, uh, goals, are uh, being assisted by some affiliate organizations. Uh, independent of the Knights of Rizal, but are recognized by the Knights of Rizal as uh, uh, affiliates of this of the KOR. We have the Las Damas de Rizal, Philippines. Uh, dito sa Pilipinas, uh, which I founded, no, and I, I still had until now. And uh, of course, in other parts of the world, there are Las Damas also in Europe, uh, in New Zealand. Switzerland, Belgium, Paris, uh, Prague, Italy, um, Italy. Marami, marami pa, hindi ko na ma-isa-isa. Tapos, meron din kababaihang Rizalista, meron din Ladies of Rizal. Ito ay sa mga babae, may Maclaris, ito yung Maria Clara ni Rizal. Uh, at sa kabataan naman, you, we have the knights, the, the, the kabataang pangarap ni Rizal or uh, Kaparis. So, uh, tumutulong ang mga itong organisasyon na ito para mapalaganap ang kaisipan ni Dr. Jose Rizal sa mga kabataan la luna. At uh, ang isa sa major programs being carried out by the Knights of Rizal ay yung may kinalaman sa Kabataang Pangarap ni Rizal. And this is the National Rizal Youth Leadership Institute, which is being held uh, annually. I'm not going to talk about this tonight. I will blog on it tomorrow because this is already very long. No, I don't like to keep you watching very, very long in my blog. So I will stop here. But tomorrow I'm going to blog about the National Rizal Youth Leadership Institute. So you will know also how the Knights of Rizal actually are trying to, to uh, uh, reach out 
to many youths in our not only in the Philippines but also in other parts of the world. Uh, as uh, before I end, I would like to say that uh, there are not, the the Knights of Rizal is not confined only to Filipinos. Even foreigners who believe in the ideals and teachings of Dr. Jose Rizal and who believe in Rizal as uh, ikanga, someone worth emulating, meron sila. They can, in, they can come and they can join the Knights of Rizal. Maganda yung ritual ng Knights of Rizal. No? Naka-blindfold dyan. Pagka tinatanggap ka na sa kanilang sasamahan, naka-blindfold ka pag, sa initiation. Ba't hindi ka naman hinahampas, no? Uh, ikaw lang ay tinatanong kung you are you are willing you have done what is to be a real uh, member of the Knights of Rizal. May tinatanong sila mga tanong. And you've got to know something about Dr. Jose Rizal. You cannot be there without knowing anything about Rizal because that will defeat the very purpose because your intention the intention of the, uh, of the, uh, the organization is to propagate the ideals and teachings of Dr. Rizal and then you are coming it knowing nothing. That's not, that's a no, no, no. no? Kailangan marami ka rin alam kay Dr. Jose Rizal. And so, uh, maraming mga foreigners nila kasama sa mga members niya na si, ano nga ito, si Anwar Ibrahim was very, who is very, very strong ang kanyang uh, belief kay Dr. Jose Rizal. Uh, there was an, uh, an international conference uh, First Asian Renaissance on Rizal. No? Uh, First Asian Conference on Rizal and Asian and Renaissance. Something like that which I attended in 20, in 1995 in Kuala Lumpur at isa sa naging talagang mahigpit na tagapagtaguyod nito at nagsikap na maigawa ma ma ito ay ang former Deputy Minister of ano, of uh, Malaysia na si Anwar Ibrahim and uh, uh, also ang member dito ay si King Carlos of Spain. Nung nakita ko siya noong 1996 nang he was knighted. Pumunta siya para lang dyan. Uh, he was knighted at uh, sa Manila Hotel together with his wife. Kasama niya si Queen Sophia. Si Henry Kissinger ay uh, isa rin. Si Henry Kissinger is a diplomat na, na naging sikat na sikat nung, pan, nung maraming taon na nakakaraan. So, so many members, uh, si Daisaku Ikeda no, uh, of uh, Japan. The, these are some uh, international uh, big names in the world na uh, members of the Knights of Rizal. And almost all presidents of the Philippines are uh, have been knighted. No? Wala yata ang presidente ng Pilipinas na hindi naging Knights of Rizal. Of course, ang pagbabae hindi pwede. No? <laughs> Hindi pwedeng maging Knights of Rizal. Pero binibigyan sila ng highest award, I think. Uh, pagkakababaihan, binibigay sa kanila yung highest awards. Ito ay yung Doña Chudora Alonso uh, Award. At yung ibang kababaihan naman, binibigyan din kapag uh, ito yung second highest award, international award given to women na may malaking ambag sa papapagalaganap no ng ng mga pa, pa, aral at buhay ni Rizal ito ay ang Women of Malolos Awards and modesty aside i i got that uh, award in 2006 or 2006 uh, as uh, uh, for my work in the propagation of the ideals and teachings of Dr. Jose Rizal and being active uh, uh, kanga, uh, in the in the in this uh, Rizalism movement. So that's the, the Knights of Rizal. I don't know kung mayroon akong nakalimutan, pero uh, I think that's all uh, for tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to give you some inputs on the National Rizal Youth Leadership Institute, which will a hold is 59th uh, institute this December 17, but virtual. So for tonight, bye-bye. This is your Lola Amalia. I hope you will learn something about this particular uh, Knights of Rizal so that if you are interested, you can join. No? You can join 
if you are really having result in your heart, sila ay meron uh, ang kanilang ang kanilang paternal sign ay uh, non omnis morial. No, pagka nag nagmi-meeting sila after ng meeting, sabi nila ay non omnis morial. Not everything in me shall die. Hindi lahat sa akin ay mamamatay. Maganda ang ritual nila. Magandang maganda. So, good night for tonight. Good night for tonight talaga. And thank you for viewing my blog. And please do subscribe to my channel, Just Me, Amalia. This is your Lola Amalia. Thanking you once again. Bye-bye.